<laughs> Tonight, an up close and personal look at another home, this one in New Jersey, filled with apartments that today exploded in flames. A building with a history of problems and now an avalanche of injuries and hospitalizations. It happened in the Union County city of Plainfield and residents have been warning about the risks at this building and another one nearby owned by the same landlord. Here's Jim Dolan. Workers were putting up plywood over the windows in apartment 303 in this Plainfield apartment building tonight. A family lived here and just look at what the fire did. It ate through the walls and devoured the kitchen. The children's bedroom was consumed in a choking black soot. 20 people from the building were hospitalized, seven of them children. I was just freaked out. 12 year old Eric Rosario lives on a low floor and he made it out easily, but the people upstairs weren't as lucky. Most of them were, were coming out crying and screaming, running uh, out the building. Was it scary for you? Yeah, it was scary. It's first time. The fire alarm worked. It did its job. It woke everybody up. But when people came out to the hallway, it was filled with smoke and the fire was getting so close to the apartments. The smoke was so thick, people were bumping into each other, trying to get their families to safety. Uh, they are in the floor, but I can't do nothing because I'm, I have to save my kids. I have four kids and I'm taken to the hospital. They're they are in the hospital? hospital now. Yeah, my wife too. You may remember this low income West 7th Street complex in Plainfield. 80 people were forced to move from here in August because the building had deteriorated so badly, the state condemned it. Residents here say their building with the same owners didn't have heat for the last six weeks, so residents had been using space heaters to stay warm. Some think that sparked the fire. Was that probably um, because it's no heat, probably they are using the electrical things that, that you oh, find it. Um, oh, you mean the space heaters? Yes. Tonight, residents forced to leave, packed what they could, and headed to hotels, wondering how long it will be before the building is repaired.